I'm going to uh, now just turn it over to Gary for the last words. Thank you so much, Revaji, and thank you all my dear friends who have uh, enriched me personally today on the entire concept and dimensions of uh, peace education and advocacy for non-violence and, uh, and new ways of, of instilling peace into the community. It was really heartening to see how many varied fields, varied ways, varied experiments uh, we have been able to share here today. It's been a long five hour exercise, but I'm sure a lot of us are taking back with us a lot of uh, a lot of memories, a lot of exercises, a lot of a lot of strategies, a lot of uh, things that can be done in the community. Uh, we, 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 we got to know about uh, a podcast by the name of Speaking Up Peace, which is uh, trying to amplify the voices from the grassroots and how people at the grassroots are trying to amplify, uh, uh, are, are working for promotion of peace and non-violence. Uh, we also got to know about the great effort that was put into Chambal Valley 50 years back, uh, where efforts of non-violence and peace education brought uh, scores and hundreds of decoys to surrender. Uh, we also got to know through Jill about uh, the transition of uh, the entire concept of non-violent communities to the entire uh, concept of non-violent economy. Uh, it was very interesting to, to see how Catherine and uh, Lorena and all our friends showed uh, the very uh, the very uh, sharp connection between nature and peace the more peaceful the nature remains the more peaceful our lives is lives are the more the nature gets exploited the more our lives get exploited the more we are violent with the nature the more we uh, become violent with ourselves uh, we also got to know about the canadian experience of education of working with children when we heard Christy and other friends. Uh, I think what was also interesting was uh, when we heard uh, our friend from Lucknow was about uh, you know, looking at, at non-violence and peace from other socio-cultural uh, dimensions which included uh, racism and caste-based uh, discrimination. Uh, while at the other end, uh, when we heard from Ashima and uh, Roshan, we got to know about uh, how arts are being used to um, promote peace, whether it is with children or adults or girls or boys or anyone. And same was uh, uh, said by uh, uh, Shonag, I believe. Uh, and uh, I, uh, from the Medina Institute, we also got to know about... Uh, uh, the entire Islamic concept of oneness and unity and and how peace uh, is to be seen in a more uh, as, as a bigger picture rather than being limited to a religion, but something that applies to every religion, something that applies to every human being. And of course, what we just witnessed with our friend from uh, 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 Seeds was 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 very interesting about uh, putting your guts on the table to actually transition from disconnection to connection and being able to identify yourself so thank you very much friends for joining us today and uh, uh, please do visit our website speaking uh, our peace uh, leave your comments listen to our podcast share your thoughts let us know your takeaways and then god willing we should meet again soon. Thank you so much.